what are the things that are likely to end up with a, a higher chance of success and less likely to end up with tomorrow's legacy system today? Yeah, that's what my whole writing is about, right? It's trying yes. to identify those. I mean, some of them are quite broad and some of them quite narrow. But the point is that, I mean, take self-testing code, for instance. So I, I use, I like to use the term self-testing code as opposed to test-driven development because test-driven development is a technique I love. I really like using it a lot. But to me, the, the core thing that I want is this self-testing code ability, which is I want to be able to throw a command at the system and say, test yourself. And it comes back, and if it comes back green, I know, okay, I'm okay. The change I just made, I didn't break anything. Now, if I build the system using test-driven development, I'll get there. And test-driven development will also <coughs> help me with the design process as well. So it's a great technique. But yeah. the key output to me is having that self-testing code. And there are other ways to get that as well, but most of which are, are not as good as TDD. But it's self-testing code's the key. So for me, that's a, a great technique that I can use any, almost anywhere. Right. And I've, I've used that technique in, you know, you'd use it in, in Smalltalk, you use it in Java, you use it in JavaScript, all sorts of different languages. You have to make sure you get the tools to help you do that. And fortunately, particularly after the rise of JUnit, people realize what, but actually it wasn't that difficult to build tools that would help you build self-testing code. Yeah. And so you see JUnit ports and clones um, to all over the place. And of course, JUnit itself was a port of an original Smalltalk. Um, library. And so that's a, that, an example of that kind of fundamental notion that says, um, if you understand the importance of sales testing code, whenever you go to a new environment, the first thing you want to do is figure out, how can I get my self-testing set up going? Mm -hmm. How do I get that situation where I get that logical green bar that tells me, okay, the change I just made, I didn't break anything. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so that's an example of one of those fundamental principles that to me, transcends the technology that you're working in. 